Hello and welcome to That's The Point. My name is Corey Meyer. Sitting here with me to my right, your left, Jeremy Horn. What's up, man? Hey, how's it going? Doing well, doing well. So construction technology is our goal every time we aspire here at That's The Point. And today we're talking about a common issue and that is scale factor. Now, scale factor is something that can really ruin your day. Uh, so we brought in Jeremy and let's start with defining what exactly scale factor is. Yeah, it's really just in this sense, we're talking about the scale of the drawing that our guys are using in the field to lay out with, right? So, you know, in the field, we're going to have a dimension that's 60 feet. We need to make sure that those dimensions are matching what's in the drawing. It's exactly like what we had with paper plans back in the day, too. Like, scale factor's always been something we had to be aware of, right? Like, we have to make sure we're all working the same scale. Um, so, so with that being the definition, what is the first indication, or at least an early indication, that our data has a scale factor issue? Like, what might you see? Usually the way it happens with our guys is they go to get their instruments set up with control points and they go to shoot those two control points and the software just kind of is like, no, like that doesn't work. It, it can't do the math. Uh, and when you see it just kind of give you nothing, then you know there's an issue. Um, and, and that's because, you know, if you have two control points that are 60 feet apart in real life, but in the drawing, you know, they're, it's showing thousands of feet apart, yep. then the, the software just can't even compute that. Um, so once we've seen that, we then can know, hey, we need to check something in our drawing real quick. So normally scale factor is something that, that props up pretty early in the setup process. Like it's, it's something that you immediately can think of and be like, I need to check this if I can't even get set up and, and checked in. That's correct. Okay. If it was like a very small scale issue, you might not notice it, but scale issues don't usually like, right. it's, usually, <laughs> it's usually not a little bit. It's usually multiplied a lot or a little, and, and you're going to not even be able to work. You can't really trick the software when it's off by that much. Right, right, right. So, okay, so now we've defined it. So when can we fix it and how can we fix it? Because I think this gets into kind of a, a nervous area for us because there's, a, there's a kind of an easy way to do this and there's also a dangerous way, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So the first thing is, you know, we can use FieldLink to go pull some measurements to really see what's going on. Uh, you know, in this case, if you look at the drawing here, um, and I, I zoom into one of these doors and, and pulled a dimension, and we can see that it's showing that this door is measuring as 36 feet. Yeah. Door should be three feet. So in this case, it is off by a factor of 12, which is something very common we see. It's a feet, and it's just a units issue where it's, re it's seeing feet as inches or vice versa. Right. Um, when we see something like that, that is something that in field link we can fix and it's not too hard. Where we do warn our customers is if we see something that's that's not straightforward like that, that's a little bit more- Like 33 and a half inch doorway that you know is 36. Like right. That's a little dicier. Yeah, or even more so like thousands of feet that just doesn't make sense. That could just be something that weird that happened in the export. In that case, we recommend sending that back to a CAD person, back to the, you gotcha. know, the, whoever sent the drawing and let them, let them fix it. Because we don't want to be trying to make assumptions and do math in ways that we can, you know, call some other. But problems. those common ones, those divisible by twelve, that kind of thing, like, and that does make sense. Like yeah. that's simply units. Right. So, so how do we do that in the field? Like, you've got this one here, and obviously, it's not a thirty-six foot door, I would imagine. So, let's get that back to the design intent. So, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So we look at the bottom right, and we pull out our little uh, ribbon here, and then select our drawing icon. Once we select that, you'll see it'll pull up the drawing I have in here, which I only have one. Um, once I select that. Sorry guys, let me turn off the measure button first. Now if we select it, it'll give me the chance to edit. So we see the little pen and paper there. Once we go from here, uh, you'll see the scale, which right now is just listed as one, but we can adjust that and then reapply a new scale. So I'm gonna pick the pen and paper edit button in the middle. Then if you look over to the right, I can input whatever scale I need to. In this case, we're gonna divide back down by 12. So one divided by 12, 0 0.0833. Um, go back to my page and you'll see now it's 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 telling me that I can apply that scale. So if I click on scale, my drawing disappears. Poof. <laughs> so it shrunk it down. Uh, so now I just need to hit my zoom extents and it'll get me back on my file. And then if we go in here back to our doorway, let's go back to our map where we can pull our dimension and go back to the same doorway and pull. And now we see the three feet that, that we want to see. More. <laughs> yeah. So three feet, yeah, it makes a lot more sense. There we go. I mean, a scale factor to find. You can now help to troubleshoot that right there in the field. If you need additional help, though, don't hesitate to reach out to your local building point. Jeremy, thanks for bringing the old laptop today, man. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> and of course, don't forget to smash that subscribe button so you stay up to date with the latest tips, tricks, and pointers.
And thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on That's the Point.